Hey folks, Blizzard, welcome back to another Paul Master video, and a new dev letter is out, so uh, let's uh, let's go check it out. I haven't seen it yet, let's uh, let's see what it is. Oh, also the update is out as well, we will, um, after this video we'll do, um, you know, we'll, we'll check out the, the data mine stuff, so uh, stay tuned for that folks, uh, make sure you all are subscribed, have notifications on, so you get those as soon as we uh, talk about them. So. Uh, dev letter number, oh my lord, 27. <laughs> That's a lot of dev letters now. Uh, but yeah, as, as always, props to them always, you know, doing these monthly dev letters. So uh, they actually are communicating, you know, what they're trying to do, all that stuff with the fan base, which is good. So I do like encouraging that. All right. Uh, green trainers with producers of Poem Master ZX, Yusasuke and Tetsu Yaguchi. Come on, you do another video. <laughs> Oh, I'm still waiting for uh, our guy Yusasuke to do another video. Um, today we'll focus on details about the next villain arc, updates, upcoming story events, and more. App update for late November. All skip featured added to the Battle Villa finally. <laughs> and then the next Battle Villa challenge and the ones that follow. Once you have completed all halls, excluding co-op, you'll be able to skip the to the hall of your choice during the next Battle Villa. After that, uh, when skipping, you'll be able to choose how far to go up to either the 4th, 9th, uh, 14th, or 19th hall. You won't be able to collect bonus rewards, coins, XP as uh, uh, completion rewards for halls you skip. You can collect their first time rewards all at once. Oh, that's really, really good. All right, so that's that's good. That's So you get the good stuff, the extra coins or whatever. Who cares, right? Uh, coins, not like move candy coins, just regular coins. Like, honestly, like it, it gives you the important stuff, basically. Please know that if you don't um, complete all halls in the next Battle Villa challenge, you won't be able to use this hall skip feature in the uh, Battle Villa challenge that follows. Uh, okay. So you just have to make sure you complete them, you know, uh, every time to to skip, you know, the, the next one. Try to complete all halls each time the Battle Villa opens. For more details, please see the next Battle Villa notification. Play legendary events every time. They talk about this as well, right? Legendary adventures have been added to the main story menu. Oh, that's cool. Allowing you to play uh, previous legendary events whenever you want at the time of the update only Giovanni Mewtwo lurking shadows is available But more stories will be added in the future for those of you who already completed the event and received all the rewards You can exchange the rewards you get for five-star power-ups and other items just like with legendary events that have returned up to now I do wonder though, right? Is that just gonna be like a one-time thing cuz or else like how are we gonna get like more of those um uh, items do we always just get to like reset the prize box i don't know i don't know uh champion stadium update starting with the next champion stadium challenge the upper limit for master modes total point rewards will be increased to ten thousand points so that should be two thousand per um stage max right that's actually honestly um i was i was expecting it to be a bit lower i thought it'd be, okay it may be like 1.7k but 2k is actually quite a decent amount i'd say right that's actually quite a decent amount um and champions oh yes Champion Spirit and Battle Points, that's good, that's good. Uh, to coincide with the update above, the maximum number of points that can be earned in a single battle has been changed from, uh, yeah, 1.5 to basic math. Enter the Champion Stadium and try to go for 10,000 points to get all the total point rewards. New Extreme Pass debuts. Extreme Incubators are now available in Bells' lab. To use an Extreme Incubator, you can obtain an Extreme Pass from, <laughs> this name, the Purchase Bundle, Sex, okay, so it's paid. Uh, but then again, like the egg stuff is, you know, if whales want to pay for the extra egg stuff for like a very crappy one star unit, then sure. <laughs> um, uh, you'll have access to a limited uh, extreme incubator for 14 days during this period. Eggs placed in the extreme incubator requires only half the incubation time. They're great for efficient egg hatching, so we hope you make use of them for your future. I mean, okay, it's cool. Huh? Uh, I do, I do like the auto one better though. That's that's probably my favorite one of, of all the um of all the uh, egg stuff that yeah you buy. Please see the notification for more details. Blah blah blah. All right, other updates. When both the game text language and trainer voiceover language settings are set to Japanese, the sync viewing feature will now um display the names of the trainer's Japanese voice actors. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Grimsley Kimono and Bisharp debut. Grimsley Kimono and Bisharp. Uh, will appear in the same. Oh, we already know about that, right? Uh, on the 25th, also appears in the story of the current costume event. They haven't played it. Does that mean we are actually getting like a real conclusion to the event? <laughs> are we actually getting like a real ending? What's the deal? Plus, another new event will start in late November that also features a new sync pair. 
Um, so we hope you look forward to that as well. Uh, steel type texting pair, stay sharp, a move lowers their defense, special defense. <laughs> well, you can't have a Grimsley unit without, uh, you know, some sort of gamble, right? But it also raises their attack by six, crit by three, super effective up next, and endure endurance and vision. When they use metal pairs, which is a powerful physical steel type move, they take up a counter. Oh no, dude, her move unit. If hit by an attack move, when in this counter-attacking uh, posture, they'll leave the posture and attack the opponent that hit them. The more damage they take, the more powerful Metal Burst will be, so try using Stay Sharp before Metal Burst. Uh, their Grimsley's Gambit passive skill works. They named a passive skill after him. Look at that. Very well with Metal Burst because it makes opponents target them for a short time. That's good. When using Metal Burst in addition, uh, after the sync pair successfully attacks with Metal Burst, Grimsley's Gambit will return their lower stats to normal and raise their evasion by 6, six stat ranks. That's actually really, really good, honestly. Uh, I like that. Again, minus the, you know, two turn thing. But, like, outside of that, actually, if it auto, if it makes it auto-target, that's actually not bad. Yeah, no, no, no. This is, this is pretty nice, honestly. The risk taking Grimsley, yeah, because it won't be a two turn, right? Wouldn't it? Or am I chipping? The risk taking Grimsley is no longer, uh, or, or it's no stranger to putting it all on the line, so aim for massive damage with Metal Burst. Lillian Arc is featured in the Apollo interlude, Apollo interlude, which is an additional story snippet focused on Apollo, is <laughs> literally in the Villain Arc. <laughs> Apollo is literally in the Villain Arc now. Jeez. Um, if, if it wasn't clear enough, this guy is going to have a Villain Arc. Uh, 25th. As of now, the order you you uh, to play this new story, in order to play this new story, you must complete all parts of the counter chapter. It makes sense, because that shows Apollo actually, you know, betraying them a bit, <laughs> right? A bit. Uh, normal difficulty, so we haven't played the counter chapter yet. Uh, head to the main story menu and give it a try. Further Apollo interludes will be added between main story chapters, so we hope you look forward to the next edition. Uh, so I'm pretty sure how it's going to be is they're going to have one, and then you know, there's gonna uh, have a chapter, main chapter, and then they're gonna throw in another um, Paulo interlude, and there, and then like Paulo's personal story is gonna uh, grow um, every time. You know, there's a there a, you know, after a new chapter, right? Um, new seasonal sync pair debut. One male trainer, one female trainer will appear as sync pairs in seasonal outfits starting December 15, 2021. We hope you look forward to see which Pokemon these. I already know what it is. <laughs> Again, we'll talk about it in the end of my video. Uh, go to the Sing Pairs, another seasonal event this year. Cool, cool, cool. Bring the seasonals from last year back as well. All right, future updates. Finally, we'd like to share some information about future updates. New super challenging content is planned. As we mentioned in our previous message, a new high difficulty event called the Legendary Gauntlet is scheduled. That sounds like a cool name. To begin in mid-January next year, the Legendary Gauntlet is a special event in which you can take on multiple challenging Legendary Arena battles to see how many times you can win in a row. Wow! Wow! That is very, very cool. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Or at least I like the sound of that. We obviously don't know the de you know full details. Um, also, completing this event will give you a special reward, a new kind of a lucky cookie. Using these new lucky cookies will let you learn various lucky skills, including new lucky skills that would introduce to coincide with this event. Um... New lucky skills. Wow. New lucky skills. Man. Do you think they could have like stuff like ramming speed and lucky new lucky skills? Is that a bit too much? Is that a bit too much? I don't know. I don't know. They are giving it does seem like uh, you know, very, very um powerful stuff, right? So wow. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what the uh, lucky skills are. It's yeah, I've been I've been I've been hoping they'd um give us new lucky skills for a while now. This is good, this is good. The lucky skills a sync pair can learn will vary depending on their number of stars. What? The more stars they have, the easier it will be to learn more powerful lucky skills. Okay. We hope you give this new event a try. Next main villain arc update. Next chapter for the villain arc uh, scheduled to launch in mid-January of next year. We're planning to release a villain event prelude in late December to get you ready for this update. Ooh, that's cool. What we'll expect next message? Our next message is scheduled for late December. In that, we plan to share information about new sync pairs, legendary gauntlet, and update related to the game's background music. Oh, okay, that's interesting. We're also, uh, or we're always working hard. Blah, blah, blah. Good stuff, good stuff. Feedback, etc. All right, good, good, good stuff, man. Uh, this legendary gauntlet sounds um, found sounds very, very interesting, and we're finally getting new lucky skills. That's fantastic, 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 right? 
uh, villain arc stuff is cool. I like the story. I like the villain arc story so far. How about you guys? I like it. I like it. Um, again, the the units we'll we'll talk about in the uh, data mine video, right? Uh, this is nice, I guess. Champion stadium update. That's gonna be that's gonna be fire, right? Fantastic stuff. Um, the legendary. They are only starting with Mewtwo, so we'll we'll, we'll see uh, how often they add these, right? Uh, hall skip. All right, good stuff. This is a this is a W, folks. This is a this is a W. Um, definitely a W. So, uh, anyways, um, that's gonna be this one. Hopefully, all in general. And guys, think in the comments down below. Like this video, support my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. If you guys want the member shout out thing, uh, you guys could uh, you know, uh, click join to become a channel member, and I'll I'll, I'll shout you on in these uh, videos <laughs> uh, as well for those wondering. Um, also Discord link down below if you guys want to join and uh, you know chat Pokemon Masters stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.